So the sport package has decided to talk to Sam Brand this morning. The reason for that is I believe that Sam is incredibly inspirational because he manages to be a professional cyclist with Team Novo Nordisk as well as handling his diabetes one. I want to talk to Sam about his season. It's not quite finished just yet and also the Commonwealth Games. So let's first of all just talk about the diabetes and how you manage it, Sam, because you do do incredibly well with that. The, the term inspiration is something that I can't put on myself. So it's great to hear that but that's not why I do it I do it to be there as a, as a figurehead to help other people young people uh, just anyone who wants to get involved in sport or or not it, just to give them a chance to to know that the other people there who have to do, deal with the same things because in the Isle of Man there are five kids that are actually diagnosed with type um, 1 diabetes every year aren't there and uh, you were one of them at one point when did when were you diagnosed I was diagnosed when I was 10 so yeah f for me it was growing up I didn't really have anybody to sort of speak to or, or see and, and now I want to be able to to help those uh, five a year on average I want to be able to be there to to help those if, if they need the, the support or to even just sit in the background and just give them something to, to, to look at. Also to aim for as well, I mean, you know, the Isle of Man know you for being in the Isle of Man football team, for running, you were a triathlon and then decided to go into cycling a little bit more seriously. Yeah, so I started the, the cycling career uh, in 2016, the start of 2016. Uh, before that, I did triathlon, as you say. That sort of led me on to, to racing for Team Nova Nordisk. I spent the last sort of 18 months in the development squad. Then I was asked to join the pro team for the, for the last six months as a stagiaire. I've, you know, I hear this word an awful lot and I, I, I had to learn what it meant. But what is a stagiaire? So a stagiaire is basically a trainee. So uh, the, the team give me the status to enable them to see that I have what it takes to become a fully fledged professional. So um, when did you got the phone call to go to the tour of Utah, what was that like? Because that's the toughest road race um, in America, isn't it? Yeah, so I was over the moon. Uh, it came just before Nationals, which was on the Isle of Man this year. And, and I kind of kept it to myself until I had Nationals out of the way. But when I realized the tour of Utah, I just wanted to give it a good crack, but realized that it, it would be tough. And I just wanted to give it everything I had. Knew that if I just did my own thing, I could, I could be there and, and compete well. You're with Team Novo Nordisk, who specialise, of course, in looking after a team with uh, cyclists that have type 1 diabetes. What's that like? It's quite good, actually. I mean, uh, uh, it, it, it gives us a common, a common factor between everyone, so it means that everyone's riding for the same, the same reason, the same story, the same... Although everyone's story is different, everyone's riding to inspire, educate and empower those affected by type 1 diabetes and that and that's just something that's that's nice it's it's something different we we all fight for it together and it, it puts us on like a brotherhood basically now let's talk about results because in April obviously next year we're looking at taking the Isle of Man team over to the Commonwealth Games in Australia how are you feeling ahead of that because you are hopeful of course on the list yeah obviously it, it would be fantastic it's my goal I've always said it's a goal it would be a huge a huge achievement if I could be on that start list uh, that's what I want to be and and I've ticked off a few uh, criteria. I hit one early in Europe uh, this year in um, Tour of Bihor top 20 on GC uh, I've moved up to pro continental level for the remainder of this season and uh, will uh, stay full pro next year for my first season so really looking forward to that hopefully that I can do enough to uh, maybe even in this race get some more qualification standards just just to try and strengthen my position I mean I'm not taking anything for granted there's a lot of very good cyclists on the island so so anything I can do to try and give myself a, a bigger a bigger shot at being on that on that plane then great what does it mean to you to represent the Isle of Man oh, absolutely everything I mean being representing my team and representing the Isle of Man I mean th there's no bigger for me there's no bigger no bigger sort of I don't know it really is yeah, the pinnacle yeah, isn't exactly. it it's it's out, it means a, a, an awful lot yeah do you know the words of the national anthem of course <laughs> of course <laughs> okay so um obviously you're off to China tomorrow you've got a big week ahead of you it's a nine day um, race I believe yeah nine stages um I think a few of them are over 200k so it's a big one it's uh it's a HC class race so it's at, uh the, the second highest category race so I'll give it everything and, and depending on what we want to do on each day and hopefully one of those days or multiple days will include uh, trying to fight for some positions and some results both for the team and for myself.
Good luck. We know that the Isle of Man is incredibly proud of you. I mean, you've come from nowhere, it feels like, almost obviously within the cycling. You've been doing triathlons for a number of years, but to come and do what you're doing so quickly is an absolutely amazing achievement. Well done. To finish on, what advice would you give any youngsters, you know, that have type 1 diabetes and they actually really do want to take their sport up to the next level? What advice would you give them? I'd just say try. Um, don't let anybody else influence you. Just influence yourself. There's people out there like myself. There's, there's other people just just do what you love and if that is pro sport then great if it's going to the local park run if it's doing anything then just just give it a go there's there's a wealth of knowledge out there there's a lot of people who who are going through similar similar um dealings so just just stick in and 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 give it everything thanks sam and good luck of course with china and also the commonwealth games list i hope you make it to the final there thank you very much cheers thanks